Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing well and thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. We have co-create number 40. Four is stability for me. So we're always co-creating. This could be you doing it with spirit if you're spiritual. Spirit if you're spiritual in that sense. We're on a co-creational journey. That is my belief system. It might not be everyone's, but it's about collaboration here to bring your goals to fruition whether it be through spirit or teams, whatever it may be for you. Impasse. Now, impasse here is about taking a detour. When this comes up, you might not be reaching your goals the way you would expect. There could be hurdles that come up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to resolve these hurdles and take another route. So impasse is about finding that other route. Don't sit on your laurels here if you're trying to get from A to B. Uh, you might have to go in another direction, but it's about making the changes that's needed to bring what you're trying to create to fruition here. Forgiveness. Now, this is a beautiful energy to be, to be in. It's about forgiving yourself, your past. It's also about being in a place of acceptance. So we don't want to be, if we're wanting to achieve something, we, don't, we want to be in a place where we understand everything's went on in our past has been for our own good. Now, if there's things that have went on that's challenging, it's there to help you reach your goals, but you'll have more knowledge by the end of this. So things might not be going as the way you would like, like I say, there could be challenges. It's not about holding grudges here. It's about getting your head down and deciding and looking at another route forward. The magician, yeah, this is about what you're manifesting here. The five of cups, if pentacles, beg your pardon, and the tower moment. Now the two of pentacles, the nine of swords, central energy, your six of wands. Your five of swords, beautiful temperance energy, and the justice card. Now this here, if we're talking about co-creating, this is you and the universe. The universe helps you bring your manifestations to fruition. Now, there's something happened here. For example, I'm going to say you might have applied for a job and you didn't get it. OK, whatever this manifestation is, you might have been in a relationship where you thought you want, it would end in marriage and it hasn't done. So whatever your goal is here, spirit is well aware of what you're doing and what you're wanting. They're trying to help you. Now, there's things happened here. There's been tower moments. So you're either going through a tower moment or there's been a tower moment and it's about putting this behind you and understanding that if there's a tower moment, it's because things were built on unstable foundations and there's something better for you. So if there's something you're manifest manifesting or wanting to achieve and there's been a tower moment here and you feel as if the rug's been put under your feet, it's because you've not to come from a place of lack with this. You've not to feel left out in the cold. Tower moments come because you're on unstable ground. It's about laying more solid foundations for the future. So if we want to bring, go forward here, we've got two fives of change to move forward from this tower moment, we're going to have to find a way at how to do it. Okay, so we don't want to be focusing on what we've lost here, feeling left out in the cold, because that just brings in more lack. These people uh, have not enough money, or the, uh, you know, my relationships f failed. We want to be saying, or I know it's easy for me to say, we want to be focusing on what we've got left here and what we can build on. Because after the tower moment comes the star card and it's hope and rejuvenation. So your tower moment is designed to bring in hope and rejuvenation here, Scorpio. Now, we might have to here, make, it might feel like a bittersweet victory. We might have to make decisions and cut our losses here. Now, when we're cutting our losses, we're forgiving what's happened. We're understanding it's for our greater good. And we're focusing on what we're coming out with rather than leaving what we're left behind. So, for example, this could be a divorce situation. It could be leaving a job where things have, have went terribly wrong for us. It's not working out for us. We're not happy. So we might be deciding to move away from that and leave behind people we enjoyed working with. It could be anything like that. This will be different for everybody. Whatever your tower moment is, and there'll be different degrees of it for everybody, we have got to stay focused on what it is that we want for ourselves here. We have to be making decisions to move ourselves forward from what's happened and we have to be looking at what we're, we've gained out of this and what we can still build. 
because that's what the co-creational process is. This is what we're here to do on this material earth. It's about our goals and our achievements. Spirit has got your back here. Spirit can bring in tower moments because they know there's something better out there for you. So whatever you're manifesting, it doesn't mean to say that you're not going to have it. It just means that you could be having a marriage with a different person. You could be getting promotion within a different job environment, whatever this may be. Now, I know it might feel like this at the moment. Again, different degrees of this card. Upset. Tower moments. This is a perfectly human feeling to have. Now, it might have been in the past or you might be going through it now. Anything that's weighing heavy on your mind, it's causing you anxiety. Things not going the way you planned. It's about balancing things up and making decisions to go forward. We might be cutting our losses. This is choose our decisions. So we're weighing things up here and how we're going to go forward towards what it is that we want to achieve. Now, this decision that you're making will move you away from all this anxiety and grief. We're focusing on here what we can still build on with the pentacles there. So like I say, any area of your life, your finances, your home life, your relationships or your work life, we could be weighing things up. We want to be turning around and looking out to the future here. So you might have to make a, make a head over heels decision here. Because that is what's going to move you towards your success. It will be successful. You will have success with your goals. Manifestation, I know nobody likes to hear it, divine timings at play here. Your goals will come to fruition. When spirit and you are in the right vibration. Now, this moves you towards success here. Your goals will come in. You will be victorious. You will achieve what you're setting out to achieve. You just might not be getting it the way you envisaged it to be. You may be seeing a straight path there. So it's about taking wee detours. You will be victorious. You'll do it in a way that people will respect you. They'll see what you're creating and you will be respected. And with success, there's only more success to come. So weighing things up and going towards ones are about passion. So if we're weighing things up, we want to be going towards the right type of relationships. We want to be in the right job environments. We want to be enjoying what we're doing. That is what's going to bring the success in for you here. Now, this is justice card. When we do these things and we stick to our goals and we make the right decisions, weigh things up, karmic justice can kick in. The universe will reward you for this and they will help you bring your manifestation or your goals to fruition, whatever it is you're wanting to achieve. Now, this could also be something going in your favour. So a legal situation going in your favour, for example, um, it could be your, your house sale has fell through. You might have to go back to the drawing board, um, you know, and legally, you know, eventually your house will sell. It will sell. So the legal situation sorting itself out in that sense. I'm just giving you examples because the universe, this has happened to you so that you can bring in greater balance. Greater balance into your life. Now, this kind of balance is. This is the angels helping you. You can see the angels here to bring this beautiful balance in. So when we're manifesting something, for example, if it's a job, we want to be making sure that we're in a job, that we're enjoying, that we can grow in, we can be promoted in, that our skills are being recognised in, that we can develop our talents in, a relationship where we're being respected, where there's equal give and take, all this type of thing. So if you've gone through a tower moment, that's the reason why. Because spirit believes in the universe, as our great co-creators here, believe that you deserve this beautiful balance in your life here, Scorpio. Okay? Whatever you're manifesting, it's about a fair and just outcome for all. That's what this is about. So it's about getting the best for yourself out of something here. We've got three. I'll just take them. Strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused and stand tall and shine. Absolutely. Don't lose sight of what it is you want for yourself here. Ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign of weakness. Absolutely not. Friends. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Absolutely. And that will help bring in, uh, help you bring in your goals here. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.